Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're going to attempt to run Minecraft 1.16, which at the time of making this video is the latest version of Minecraft, on Windows XP. Now if you don't know, Windows XP is of course now a 20 year old operating system, and it's not able to handle a lot of modern applications, so I think trying one of the most popular games, which is Minecraft, is going to be very interesting to see. I believe that Minecraft does still officially support Windows XP, however it does not run very well on Windows XP. So in this video we're going to be trying to install Minecraft on Windows XP, and then trying to get it to run decently well. And by decently well, I mean let's try above 20 FPS. Now before we begin, I would just like to point out the specs of this virtual machine. Right now we have 2GB of RAM and 2 processor cores on an Intel Core i7-10700K. While this isn't optimal for Minecraft, it's definitely above the minimum requirements and I believe that it should at least run and be playable. So the first thing we have to do is of course download Minecraft. Now I don't believe that Microsoft Internet Explorer is going to allow us to download Minecraft, but we're going to go ahead and try anyway. So here we can go ahead and open the Minecraft site. Sorry, we have a security certificate error. We can go ahead and continue to this website, and I doubt it's going to load. Uh, I was wrong. Um, let's allow the blocked content to be displayed. And here we are. Okay, I was wrong. This is showing, although not very well. It's working, at least. So let's go ahead and try to just download the game uh, through Internet Explorer here. So minecraft.net slash download. Okay, so where actually is the download? Uh, these aren't hyperlinks, that's not hyperlinks. The only thing that we can download are Android, iOS, the server, and the Windows server. There's no typical downloads here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on my host and then move install files over. All right, so I've brought over two files from the Minecraft.net website. Number one is the MSI, the Minecraft installer MSI. We're gonna go ahead and try this first, but if this doesn't work, then we're going to try the minecraft.exe. This is the older legacy version that's still available on minecraft.net. Let's go ahead and try just installing it right now. So just going through with the typical install. Right now everything looks fine. And that was easy. Alright, so this is the legacy Java launcher. There's no, it's not using the new one. It's going to use the old one, which honestly I prefer the old one anyway. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, so I already logged into Minecraft, I did that off camera, and we're actually in the 1.6.93 Legacy Launcher update. This does say that the Minecraft will end support for XP and Vista, and the end of the Legacy Launcher. So this could be one of the last times we can do this, but hey, we're in the Legacy Launcher and everything is looking pretty good. Windows XP, NT 5.1, 32-bit. Alright, so... It's ready to play on Minecraft 1.16.5, which is the latest version. So let's go ahead and play. I believe it's... Oh, okay, we're just going to jump straight into the game. Okay, so we are actually loading the game, Mojang Studios. This was actually way easier than I thought. I thought we may have to use Kernel X or whatever. But, okay, we are running decently well here. I mean, we're not dying. Let's go ahead and go into a single-player world. And let's do creative, or actually, yeah, let's go survival. And now that this is all done, let's go ahead and generate our world on Windows XP. So world generation is definitely taking a lot longer than it does on Windows 10, or of course a native machine, but it's still, it's, it's chugging along. It's going pretty slow right now. The real test is to see what we can actually get when we get in the game. What are our real frame rates going to be? But okay, here we are, and the water is moving. Oh, we're choppy. Okay, so of course we got to spawn on an island. Well, we're running at 18, 21. So we are above our goal. Oh, no, 21. Um, but then again, we are in water. There's really not a lot for the game to render. So we were actually given a pretty lucky seed here because the game does not have a lot to render at all. Yeah, so this is literally just an island. There's not a lot for the game to render. Let's try and create a new world, or actually better yet, let's try a server. This is gonna be really bad. Hypixel. This is gonna be really horrible until, until we turn players off. I have not played on here in a long time. So we already have players turned off, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> And we are running at 26 FPS, 
which honestly is better than I thought, but this does not feel like 26 FPS. Let's turn players on, and here we go. 16, 15, 9, 14, yikes, 13. Yeah, we're not exactly running uh, too well. This is definitely not playable, especially for PvP. So let's try the most popular optimization for Minecraft, which is Optifine. Now, Optifine does download as an executable jar file, oh, of course. So Optifine does download as an executable jar file, which means you probably have to download Java to run this. But, you know, of course, we can't do that. So I'm going to have to download this on my host. Now we're going to have to download Java, which, ju judging by their website, um, I'm going to bet that this is going to work on XP. So we are not supporting Windows XP anymore. Um, Okay, so just like I predicted, it's not going to open inside of, you know, standard whatever. So we're going to have to find a Java version that works with Windows XP. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Java 7 update 65. Maybe this will work. We'll see. Maybe not. Not sure. All right, so I keep downloading a com file, which just doesn't seem right to me. But we're going to run it on a virtual machine, so I really don't care. Okay, so apparently Java was installed by com files on Windows XP. Did not know that. So let's just go ahead and install Java, and then hopefully we'll be able to run the Optifine installer. So we are running into issues with Optifine. Not very nice, but I have an idea. Let's go ahead and open the Optifine on here, and just go ahead and install the Optifine profile. So right here, we are going to have to find, I'm not actually sure where these are saved. Here we go, versions. So here's all my versions, and of course we're gonna have to do the same thing over here. Minecraft versions. And now 1.16.5 Optifine. Let's go ahead and move this over. Hopefully this works, maybe, maybe. And here we go, it does say one, Minecraft 1.16.5, Optifine. Um, okay, that seems promising, so let's, let's play it, let's try this. And it is not launching. Okay, maybe it's because of Java that we installed, maybe? Now that we've uninstalled Java, let's go ahead and actually just restart. Uh, the virtual machine simply because I believe we need to um, we haven't restarted this after the Java install or the uninstall So I think now is a good time to let it reset everything Okay, so what have we learned here? 1.16.5 Can we even get this to run anymore? Oh, yeah 1.16.5 just goes so my, Only we can get vanilla Minecraft to run on Windows XP. I cannot find another way to get you know another modded version such as Optifine or Hyperium, anything like that. I can't figure out how to get that to run. Um, if you didn't have anything else to play on, I would call this acceptable to play on, but it's not ideal when we're running at 19 frames per second. But um, yeah, I don't recommend doing this, but there is one last thing that I wanna try and that would be changing the specs of the virtual machine. Let's just give the machine, I don't know, Windows XP can't even utilize more than four gigs on a 32-bit you know, system. Let's give it four gigs of RAM and four processor cores. Let's try this. All right, so going ahead and loading 1.16.5 on the four core, four gigabytes of RAM machine here. So the home screen seems a little bit more playable here. Let's go ahead and run this world and see if we get better than about 20, 24 FPS. All right, so just looking around, uh, we haven't really improved. Oh, maybe a little bit. Eh. I would say this is a little bit better, but what are the chances that your real Windows XP computer is going to have a Core i7-10700K with four cores? Those don't even exist. Um, maybe this could just because it's being virtualized, but it's still not very playable um we can try i really don't want to try this but let's lower that these are already on um decent settings let's give this unlimited with vsync um 
and now we're getting oh we're actually relatively playable now with uh, two render distance so I would call this a relative win I mean Windows XP can definitely handle this so with that being said thank you all for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different videos and wow this seems like a really old Minecraft tutorial with all this lag so thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next